Thank you, your droids. I don't know if they ever used your droids, but I use droids. Putter, putter, putter. Make sure I have everything set up. I'm sure I'll remember something in the middle, like usual. Need a trim, my goodness. It's been a long time. Hmm. And of course I've got leftover things on the counter. Should have been put away days ago, right? Sauce cabinet. But this trim also is itchy. My goodness. Riveting content, folks. before Amelia yells at me. Yay! <clears throat> two minutes, folks. Two minutes till the magic happens. It's really hard to start early in banter when you don't have anyone else around. What have? Maybe I should start streaming more often. I upgraded the internet today, folks, so I'm not going to worry about going over my data. Start doing some board game stuff, too. Hmm. There we go. Welcome, everyone, back to It's Good Enough to Eat. Uh, I'm Warren. Pronouns he, him. Mark is taking a nap today, so we're not going to be super loud. Um, but... It's uh, another exciting Mibs and Bobs kind of week where I haven't been shopping in three, almost two, three weeks. I don't know. So I've just got little bits of things around the house. And we are going to make some pasta salad. Should be a nice surprise for Mark when he wakes up. Hi, Bosaki. Nice surprise for Mark when he wakes up because he is favorite, one of his favorite things. Favorite non deserty thing, pasta salad. So he will be much excited. So let's get going. First things, uh, amazingly, I remembered to boil to get my water before I started. So we're going to put that on the fire. Let that come up to a boil. And the pasta ready to toss in there. The other thing I want to make sure to do before anything else is we're going to put some jalapeno and some red onion in this. And it's raw, mostly everything is, nothing is cooked except for the salad, but I don't want these to be super, super sharp. So I'm going to cook them a little bit in acid, or in this case, vinegar. So making like a quick pickle. So I'm going to do that first, just so those things have time to get happy and kind of let their flavor mellow out. So I've cut my onion in half, and I'll just get the skin off. I feel like dicing, folks, because that is pretty much all I am doing today. Cut lots of veg and boiling some pasta. But I guarantee you, it is delicious. Uh, it's better kind of the longer that you let it sit and mellow. Because it's one of those types of things where the flavors just get together and make themselves happier the longer that it sits and marinates in your fridge. So I've got my little just a uh, marinating vessel right here. I put a little bit of sugar in it. And I'm going to put in some red wine vinegar and 
may look like a lot that I put in here, but this is also going to be for our salad dressing. So don't worry, it is all going to a good place. If you weren't using this for salad dressing, you could also save it and use it to pickle other things later. Keep it in your fridge and other things will get nice and happy in there. I actually have a container in the fridge with some vinegar and some other white onions and I'm putting some pickles in here and I threw out liquid and then decided I wasn't using all the pickles so I threw my pickles in my pickling liquid just so they wouldn't dry out in the fridge. I'm just going to from the knife through my onions and give it a quick dice. I also cheated and cut the onion in half ahead of time to uh, start getting those high vapors out of it so I wouldn't be here sobbing on camera in front of y'all. But the faster you can get through these, the better. Other tips for not having such harmful fumes. Yes, rub them in my eyes. Like that woman at the Capitol riot who had a onion in her pocket during her interview and was trying to make people think she was sad. No, we are not rubbing onions in our eyes, folks. That is silly. But it's a good point. I will give my hands a rinse after this just so I am not touching my eyes and in at some point and being not happy because of it. Also, if you're doing other things on your cutting board, make sure you wash it after your onions because one time I cut onions and then I cut a pineapple. That is the wrong order. It was no good. Cut your fruit before you cut your onions. So the people eating your chopped up fruit do not hate you. So I will just toss my onions right in there. I also meant to throw some salt in, but I forgot, so I will do that now. Ooh, there it is. Stirred up the onions. I'm going to tear up a little bit, but I did get it done pretty quick. So. Not terrible. But if I get squinty, you know why. My water is a boil. We've got farfalle today, bow tie pasta, but you can really use whatever you have lying around. You do want something with ridges though, because that's going to be easier to eat in this context and it's going to pick up your sauce and be nice and tasty with that. And, uh, Give this a stir just real quick so the pops everything stick together. We'll also give a few pinches of salt to the water so I can flavor my pasta. Let that come back up and cook for X amount of time. Let's check it in probably 10 minutes. Get my start with one olive in you. Know? Or I could probably do both if I take out a large amount of the seeds. There we go. Just want this small dice. And again, don't touch your eyes after working with the jalapenos. Jalapenos, spicy, spicy pepper things. Because, uh, yeah, you won't be having a good time. Oh. Hi, everyone who's joined us. I see Vinny and Teo. Keep an eye on that pasta so it doesn't boil over. And give my Onion and peppers, a little stir to get them down into my vinegar, salt, and sugar solution. And I'm just going to top them up. Oh, 
That's just going to sit there and mellow out that bench while I get everything else going. So what is biggest, and what do I want to get off the cutting board first? And I have to put this so far away to get this angle, so I'm actually in the frame and you can see the things, but I have to lean in and see my... <laughs> see my chat. Yes. Listen to my advice, not Teo's advice. I got a few carrots. I'm just gonna peel those up real quick. And one simple thing that should be obvious but took me way too long to realize is peel it before you trim the ends. Because then you don't have to worry about peeling exactly all the way to the end because that little extra bit here is going to peel off. And also, don't do that. That's, that's not how you hold a knife. Silly me. Second part. Of course, it's a lovely and gay dish, even though I don't have rainbow pasta today. There's a nice assortment of vegetables in it of all different colors so it is nice to look at as well as very nice to eat and of carrots oh yeah this one is a white carrot i just have a pack of multicolored carrots so this one is white this one is yellow uh, i think i actually ran out of orange carrots and purple carrots but i had both at one point so yeah just a nice rainbow assortment. Cool. Uh, and so to make it look nice and have a nice consistent uh, eating method, I guess, is the one way to say that, I do want to slice this into reasonably the same size. So since this end bit is thicker, I'm going to trim that and then cut it in half. and then just slice through. And then this part I'll just slice through because then they'll be all about the same size. Less important now because I'm not cooking it, so I'm not worrying about getting my cooking times correct and all the same. Um, this is just getting it into a nice size for eating. And honestly, this is the greatest thing to eat when, to make when you're hungry because all the stuff that I'm preparing and snacking on is it's just vegetables real healthy so i'm not snacking on anything that i wouldn't want to be eating anyway so i did actually go back and get all the recipes to all the previous things up on the youtube amazingly enough Right, it took me a while, but I went back and did like six, six or seven of them a couple days ago. Made myself sit down and do it. Same thing with this carrot, just cut through, give myself a nice half. And this is actually pretty thick, so I'm going to cut it the other way as well. And then just run through. Always remember using your knuckle as a guide for your knife so you're not slicing any of your fleshy bits. It's a dangerous episode of getting stuff in your eyes, slicing your fingers off. We're going to be real careful. We don't want blood and ears in our food, although wouldn't have to season it as much if I cried in it, right? Nice and salty. No. Not feeding people peers. Mm. I'm just turning hungry today, I guess. Oh, well, you got to be crunching on something while you're talking to people, right?
We put our sparkling water with a squeeze of lime in a fancy glass, so we felt fancy today. So then I've just got a bunch of vegetables that I cut up for snacking a few days ago. And I'm just going to cut up more to get in this. So it's great for leftover veggie trays. Because you know no one eats like all the little bits of celery. Well, I do. It's like, it's the first thing I go to. It doesn't have any competing flavor to get in the way of me eating my dressing. All right. Um, so I was like, I should get some hummus out for these for my snacking purposes. And yeah, celery doesn't have tons of flavor on its own. But it is lovely and crunchy and will stay that way in the salad. It's not gonna get soggy on you. Hi, spoiler. Spoiler here's me in the kitchen, and I was supposed to feed them because Nick's taking a nap, but didn't do that yet, so they're gonna have to wait. As long as it doesn't get on the counter, I think we're okay. Hangover food. See, we don't get hangovers because we don't drink until we get drunk, right? Fingers crossed, hands band. That's that's the one. Is that the one I wanted? Probably the one I wanted. Because of course not to wash up again. But that's alright, because it's about time to check our pasta. We have it one more minute, and then we'll pull it and drain it. I know, right? He did. He uh, had trouble getting to sleep last night, so it was a struggle to get through work. Lots of coffee. And I just got some of these mini bell peppers that I'll give a slice through. I trimmed the tops already. I probably got distracted. There was more celery to do, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to chop everything I have and throw it in a bowl and mix it up. It's really no muss, no fuss, fuss, no muss, no fuss eating tonight. So I can tell my knife means sharpening. It's not been... To the farmer's market with the knife man for quite a long time. Let's just pull everything in here so I can get rid of this bowl. I got some purple radish, which is nice and lovely and sharp. Then I'll just run through. We got some fennel, uh, nice and. If you like licorice, if you don't like licorice, leave the fennel. But um, we quite like the licorice flavor of fennel. It is not like the fronds though, the little green leafy bits. So I will run those out. Um, I'm just throwing in what I have. Uh, if I count it up, let's see. Carrot, celery, fennel, peppers, and then I'm gonna have onions, olives, and pickles, and some capers. So what was that, eight things, nine things? Chatting, but my pasta's over here I'm getting overdone. But that's fine. Since it's going in the salad, and I have my drainer already, amazingly, I can give that a quick rinse. And once I rinse it in cold water, it will stop cooking and it won't get any softer. Am I steam facial? I'll let that hang out. If I didn't want to do this vinegar trick, like if I had some other dressing I had to get in mind, I could also throw the onions in the bowl right now with the hot pasta, and that would also take some of the bite off of them. So if you're concerned about doing it that way and you don't like tons of vinegar, then that's another option. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is never going to be the same because I can tell you put in two carrots, but carrots are very crazy amount, crazy different sizes all the time. Uh, like you go get a bundle at the farmer's market and you'll have one that's like 
huge and one one little, little tiny one. So it's all about just getting. It's always going to be a little bit different, but it's always good as long as you have um, things that aren't super crazy against each other. Like oh right, that's the other thing I'm throwing in. I'm going to have some uh, sun-dried tomatoes because we don't have any fresh tomatoes. I have some cheese. It just keeps growing, right? I should probably take something out. But I've already got it all out in front of me, so. Oh well, too late. Um, so yeah, the flavor's gonna be different every time, but I mean, as long as you don't throw anything too crazy into it. Uh, I'm having a rough time trying to come up with any specific example, but I don't know. The main thing is don't put in things that you don't like. So if you don't like the licorice, the fennel, don't put it in. If you don't like onions, don't put it in. Um, but I do like having things in that are quite sharp. So I have the pickles and the pickled onions, and then things that are also uh, fatty, savory. So that's why I'm going to put in cheese. Um, if this was going to be a whole meal, I would throw in um, some sausage as well. And I would usually do that, except I ran out. Apparently, I thought I had a big knob of sausage left, and there is none in the fridge, so that is not making it in today. Get that out of the way. It's just taking up space on my board. Sorry, Kale. If you run out to the store and bring me some sausage in the next 20 minutes, I'll put some sausage in. Same thing with my radishes, just give them a quick chop through because they're already in spears since they were on a vegetable tray a couple days ago. Marcus fond memories of a trip we took to Italy, gosh, 10, 10 years ago, probably now, and uh, went to this little place in Tuscany. God, I can't imagine traveling right now, but it would be nice. Um, anyway, they just did spears of vegetables and then mix up red wine vinegar and some of their seasoning salt and some oil and you just kind of dip your vegetable in and mix your dressing with it and eat it and it's just it's so simple but it's lovely and delicious and great starter for anything for any occasion this is kind of reminiscent of that with the red wine vinegar that would be a great idea this way. Put my bowl there. I'm not reaching. That is much nicer and easier. Get rid of my peeler because I have nothing else to peel. Because I'm peeling the cheese open technically, but don't need the vegetable peeler to get the cheese off. Or the, the plastic off the cheese. You can also do whatever sort of cheese you like in this, but I do like something hard so I can cube it up and mix it up and it won't disintegrate or melt. I'm not going for melty cheese in this. Melty cheese was a couple weeks ago. Um, oh, that's the other thing I was making pasta for. I was trying to remember what I forgot to get water for. It was the, the mac and cheese. I could not recall for the life of me. I did do enough to go and check my channel and make sure I hadn't made pasta salad before for the channel. Because I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to go repeats on you guys. Yeah, you could do fondue with this. I mean, again, you would make that same cheesy sauce that I made for the mac and cheese and just dip your vegetables into it and it would be delicious. I would put. Um, a little bit of white wine in that sauce, though. That's pretty classic for um, 
for two fondue sauces. Um, I did have fresh garlic in it. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, it's just a bechamel sauce with cheese in it. Is a is the cheese fondue. It does sound nice. Of course, I don't need to eat just that much straight cheese. Does not play well with my tummy. Cool. That is my peppers done. I can tell my knife isn't quite sharp enough because it's not gone quite all the way through my peppers, but that's fine. It'll come apart as I stir it up. And even if there's a couple peppers together, whatever, it's all going in the same place, right? Full package of sausages. I have some, I mean, I have some raw sausages. I don't want, I wouldn't do that in here. I would do the, the cured, like, salami. I set up the same, I do everything else. And you gotta make sure everything is good, right? Make sure my pickles haven't gone bad. I'm not doing anything the most efficient way today. Slice, 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 then dice. There we go. There is our production line. Kind of glad I don't have fresh tomatoes for this because that's always a pain. Trying to slice through all the little cherry tomatoes all at once. Either takes forever. And of course you see people that do that little trick and put them between two lids and slice through, but again, your knife has to be really sharp for that to work. And like I just said, my knife isn't sharp, so. <gasps> Hi Lenny, how are you? I'm not in a rush or anything. And I'm doing very exciting stuff today. I did the cooking already, and it was just the pasta. We can have like a drink hat. Something with straws. Straws that are reusable and washable. There we go. And of course, once I got everything out on the counter, of course I want to use it all because half the time Mark tells me that I have forgotten to put the capers in, which is true. I do often forget them, and it's silly because half the time. They will already be on the counter sitting there, and I'll get through and I'll be eating, and then it's like, where's the capers? And they're just they're just still sitting there. So we're going to remember to use them today. They are already small, so I'll just dump those right in. I could probably use twice that many, but I think I am out of capers also. So tons of things to get at the store. Yes, I miss you too. I do not miss going to the office though. There was a lovely bit of time when I was working next to him and we could go get lunch every few days, which was very nice. But now between everything, not seeing him or his husband for quite a while. I could kind of drop off some chocolates for them at Christmas. Of course, if you want to see what those chocolates were, just go back a few videos and you get to see me making the Bailey's ones. God, I might be too lazy to chop olives. They're sitting here squirming around on me. But they also just kind of rip apart in your hands pretty easily. So maybe I will just be lazy. My hands are clean. So I am not worried about it. It's also satisfying just crushing something in your hands, right?
cool. So, last thing. No, well, open your jars before you get your hand into slippery olives. Yeah, wouldn't that be exciting on camera? Just to sit here and watch me not be able to open this jar. Sorry to disappoint. So I've got my sun-dried tomatoes today, and I just want to pull them out and let some of the oil drip off, but not all of it, because that will make up some of the oil for my dressing. That's another way not to confuse your flavors, like you were asking earlier, um, is that wooden salad dressing, which is basically just going to be oil and vinegar, whipped up, whisked up. Uh, if I use this same oil, or at least part of that, use that as my base, then I'm not going to add extra competing flavors to things, and that'll help me not get too crazy. These are already in strips, so I will just run my knife through to get them more diced up bite size. And that'll go right in there. It's another one to do, another good one to do last, because it does, of course, make my board a little bit of a mess. But I do need to oil my cutting board. So, I mean, let's one on it. Okay, almost there. Only a few more things to go. My onions have colored my vinegar slightly because they're red onions. It's just leased out a little bit, but that's how you know it's working. So I'm just going to dump that right in there. And honestly, there's my dressing pretty much done between the oil that I just put in and the vinegar that I added. You got your dressing. And of course, always taste it before you serve it to make sure it's seasoned enough and to make sure there's enough dressing on there. Uh, it is just a bunch of raw vegetables, so it is going to need a fair amount of seasoning, but your dressing should uh, pretty much take care of you. Question is, do I want to use this whole thing? Yeah, probably. It's not a huge amount. Today we're using manchego, one of my favorite cheeses. Just cutting the rind off. Now, dull knife is, of course, being super friendly today. And of course, just the same as everything else that's going in, just give it a dice to make it bite size. And of course, make sure it's good. It's not quite as bad as eating peanut butter. That's really good through it. If we're doing a bunch of talking, like I'm doing now. That's another thing about balance. My cheese is fatty, oily, so I don't want tons. I'm going to go heavier on the acid part of my dressing because I don't want this to become super crazy heavy. It's going to be nice. It's going to be filling. It's going to be a full meal. But you don't want it sitting too heavy in the tummy. There. And I think that just about does it for that at least. And keep this to stir, not get it out of the way quite yet. I'm gonna find a place to 
Spot my cutting board. Get so many clippings. There we go. Give that a stir. And add the pasta. And at some point, it's going to be easier just to do this with my hands because then I can. It's just going to be easier to do this with my hands. Just make sure everything gets nice and mixed together. No pockets of any one thing. If you see any bits of fennel frond that you forgot to get out, it's a good time to get them. You can kind of feel from the pasta now that it's pretty well coated. Good enough, but if you need my, my uh, seasoning still, and probably a little more vinegar, you could use that little extra hit of acid. I keep saying hits of acid. No one got the wrong idea here. Acid, lime juice, vinegar. Uh, so to bring it back to Italy, we actually brought home 10 years ago <laughs> some of that same salt mix that just had some Italian herbs in it. This didn't last for 10 years. This is a new thing that we've ordered at some point, but it is quite nice. It's very fine salt, so it'll mix up really well and that'll just help bring it all the way back combining some of those good memories from years and years and years ago with some favorite food and that's a lot of food right people eat food it evokes memories you use it to remember things that you've done remember good times with friends I had some ramen the other day. It was nice. It me, gave me some memories of a party we had a few, maybe two years ago for my birthday where we made ramen for everyone. It was nice. I want to see y'all again. Someday soon. Someday. Biden said summer was back on, right? Well, maybe a few months. Ah, a meal. I said it on the Instagram, I said it on the Twitter. <laughs> I said it in Featherfall Discord. It's everywhere. But thank you, Emil, for getting on just as I am finishing up pretty much. I did link things. Link to my YouTube twice. I will do it again. Work. I know, there's, like, Mark isn't even on because then he's napping. But there is our lovely, colorful pasta salad. Uh, it is not quite done. I am going to put this in the fridge and let the flavors mingle and get lovely and happy together. Because they all just want to get along. And they just need a half hour to do that. Also, I mean, it's, it's good cold. And it's still a little bit warm. I'm cooking the pasta. So I'm just going to cover it, throw it in the fridge, and then it'll be good to go by the time Mark gets up. Yes, five every Thursday. I actually uh, got... <laughs> no, I didn't make any extra of this because it's not a baked thing, and this is just... I mean, we don't need two pounds. Two pounds of pasta plus another two pounds of vegetables. And this is... Pretty hefty amount of food. It's gonna last for, I mean, normal people several days. Uh, Mark might have it gone in by the weekend. Um, <laughs> but no, next time, next time I will. Um, you know, it was hard for the ice cream too, since I didn't do the ice cream ahead of time. No, not this time. Sorry, Emil. Uh, <laughs> no, I actually I got my schedule up on Discord or on Twitch, on Twitch. So it does say every Friday, every Thursday at five. Um, 
I don't know. We did get unlimited internet finally, so I might be streaming some more these days. I'm not gonna have to worry about going over my uh, my data caps every month. <sighs> Lots of talking. And nothing loud. I didn't burn anything. There was nothing to burn, but I mean, I'm still I'm talented. I could have. I, I don't know, Amelia. Everything seems to just be showing up slightly later for you. But any questions? People have not yet sent requests, so I am always open for that. If anyone makes a request, I will try to make that thing as long as it fits this format. Yeah, if you have questions, I mean, the very first thing was, was a request. So I guess not completely true. I'm going to go open some windows because it is now warm in here because I've got these super hot lights on. I need to set up my ring lights. So I'm not so shiny, right? Yeah. I'm getting better at this, I swear. <laughs> I guess that's my pair now. I'm not cooking anymore. Very shiny. Now I'm also just hot. And if I had to turn on the oven today, I'm going to have to do these in the summer and figure out cold things to do because turning on the oven in the summer is always fun. Oh, but I am going to, I'm going to, since I didn't get any sausage in this because I didn't have any salami or anything, uh, I have some leftover beef round or something. I'll just grill, grill some strips of steak to go with this. But this will feed you for a while. I do recommend getting a huge bowl so you can just mix it up by hand like I just did. But make sure you have room for it in your fridge. It's not going to stay that way once we dish out some for dinner. I'll put it in Tupperwares and things. But for now, it'll do, it'll, it'll do like that. I'm just going to snack on some leftovers and get ready for dinner. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I hope you make some delicious pasta salad for yourself. And yeah, is that a, is that a wave or is that a hand raise? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, cool. But yeah, I hope you make some pasta salad for yourself and that it is good enough to eat. See you guys. Mm-hmm.